I love astronomy. I really love astrophotography. But nothing beats getting new gear, man. We've come a long way. Film, DSLR, CCD, now CMOS. One shot color now. But this time, no amp glow. It's time to check this bad boy out. Hey everyone, this is Eric with Astro World TV bringing to you my first video for Astro World and what I hope to be many reviews in my adventures in astrophotography. If you like the content that we're bringing to you, please do me a really big favor. Give us a thumbs up, ring the bell, click subscribe. That lets us know that you appreciate what we're doing here and the content that we're bringing to you and the information that we're giving you is of value to you, our audience, and fellow Astro Amateurs. Now tonight, I'm going to be sharing with you my latest acquisition. It is a Color CMOS camera. It is the ZWO ASI 533 MC Pro. The 533 is a nine megapixel one shot color camera, and it has a fan that cools the camera and sensor down to minus 35 degrees Celsius below ambient temperature. It has a pixel size of 3.75 microns, which means that gives you a narrow field of view. And that's great when you really want to get close up to your images. And it's really good for if you're using a long focal length um, telescope. But it does work very well with shorter, faster telescopes as well. But I would say it's best used for telescopes between 400 millimeter and up to maybe 1200 millimeters. Now it's quite unique in that the sensor in the 533 is a perfect square, one inch square. And it's one of the newest cameras that boasts um, that it doesn't have any amp glow. I have done my dark library with this so far, going from 30 seconds all the way up to 10 minutes, and I've had no issues with any type of amp glow at all. It has a well capacity of 50,000 um, electrons per pixel. It has a quantum efficiency of about 80% which basically means eight out of 10 of the photons that, it, that the telescope hits you with with the light gets turned, is charged onto the sensor and it's turned into signal. With a few exceptions besides the pixel size and the well depth, and like I said, the zero amp glow, it's very similar to the ASI um, 183 MC, because that also has a one inch sensor and it's priced just above the 183 at $899 US. The 183 is 799 and the 294 is just under a thousand, it's not 999. Well, coming up, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be showing you some videos of my first lights using the 533, using my William Optics Xenostar 126, and another acquisition of mine I also acquired when I got the 533, which is the ASI Air Pro. And I love the ASI Air. I have the previous version. It's worked out really well. It plate solves for me. I can do polar alignment, my acquisitions. It's a fantastic um, piece of equipment. What I'm going to be doing as far as my image is M16, the Eagle Nebula. And I'll, like I said, I'll be using my Xenostar 126 at 970 millimeters and at F7. And I'll be taking about 420 second exposures at a gain of 100, which is unity. And I hope you like um, the final image and I will see you guys soon. Again, this is Eric with Astro World. Thanks again and clear skies. Welcome everybody to my backyard. And this is my rig. As you can see, I've got the 533 MC Pro already mounted. And sitting on top of my CGX mount is my Zenith Star 126 APO doublet refractor. This runs at f7.7 and at a focal length of 970 millimeters. Resting on top of that is my guide scope, the GT71 triplet APO refractor. 
and that's at 420 millimeter focal length. This one also has the, fo the focal reducers and I have camera rotators on both. With the 533, I'm using a Starzona filter slider with the Optolong L Enhanced Narrow Band Filter. The GuideScope camera is a ASI 120mm Mini. And I'm also using the ZWO Electronic Automatic Focuser. And the new acquisition along with the 533 is the ASIR Pro which does an incredible job doing everything I needed to do for an of imaging. And right below it, to run all the power, is the Pegasus Astro Pocket Power Box. Now coming up, you'll be seeing my first lights using the ASIR Pro and the 533MC Pro. My target is Messier 16, the Eagle Nebula. And then you'll see the final results. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for checking out my rig. And don't forget to subscribe. And stay tuned.